Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be building some motor mounts for the OM606 Land Cruiser turbo diesel swap. Uh, first thing we got to do is basically make sure the motor is in position and we're not going to hit the turbo on the frame or power steering pump or AC or anything like that. Uh, make sure the transmission is front to back where it needs to be to sit in the transmission mount. Um, and then uh, fabricate some buckets that weld onto the frame. So let's get to it. Here I'm just making sure the motor is level per the factory slant. And then I'm going to start cutting up some metal for the motor mount base plates, drill some holes in them for the bolts to go through, kind of grind them down, clean all the mill scale off, fit them up on the frame, and I will tack them in place here in a minute. Okay, so we got the motor mount plates tacked in place. So I'm going to pull the motor out, fully weld that, add some gussets, clean up the frame from the old motor mounts, um, do a couple things on the motor that I won't be able to do once it's in there all the way, and then, um, then it goes in for the last time. Well, there you have it. Those are the motor mounts for the OM606, and they are uh, plenty strong. They're all quarter inch plate steel. And so, should hold up that 400 pound motor. Uh, I'm gonna get the rest of the frame cleaned up now, <clears throat> and one more pressure washing and some paint, and then the motor goes in one last time. It's in, hopefully it won't come out again, but sometimes they do, sometimes they It's one motor mount and second motor mount, a little easier to see. Uh, on the next video, we're gonna start doing turbo, radiator, intake, manifold, intercooler piping, all that good stuff. Thanks for watching.